No, I need it a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Okay, Fiona. And you better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call- How did you get more words? I- Oh, I'm so telling, Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go- Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Gets your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since... My dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi, I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the tea. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like he- I won't go breaking. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea? So you could spill the tea to her about the play? How did you know that I- I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was gonna catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you- Eh, eh. That's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshined my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in the play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever wanna talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all out of words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait, she seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync into Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? What did you say? I'm not gonna let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm gonna take away all your words again. Okay. okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah. Good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate? So you're gonna stay in this room forever. No, no, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? 
Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on, let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. Oh, you suck. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Don't go breaking my heart. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. I get to pick whether I'm gonna have a baby brother or a baby sister? Pick sister. But I want a baby brother. Are you the one delivering the baby? No. Then pick sister. Fine. She's here. Hi. <laughs> Shh, no, don't cry. It's okay. <laughs> Give her to me. You're holding her wrong. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Your little sister needs toys. You're way too old for that anyways. Ready? Catch. Ow! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the eye. <laughs> My baby. What did you do to her? It was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what? Go to your room. Your sister needs a blood transfusion. What? Yes, it's a really long story, but I told them you would donate your blood. Come on, we gotta go to the hospital now. Wait! You need to donate your blood to your little sister. Come on, we have to get to the hospital now. Wait! Okay, honey, let me see your arm. Samantha! I'm sorry, I can't do it. You know I have a fear of needles. Your little sister needs your help, ma'am. We cannot force her. Maybe you want to donate? Yeah, why don't you donate your blood? After all, she's your favorite. Okay, I'll remember this. Mommy and I are going on vacation. What about me? You're staying here, you have school. We'll only be gone for two weeks or so. Two weeks? But what about food and- You can drive and here's money for food. Now say bye, sissy. Bye, sissy. I used up all the money mom gave me for gas for school and now I'm starving and there's nothing to eat. Sorry you missed me. Leave a message after the beep. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Officer Bloom. Your neighbors have reported this house. Are your parents home, sweetheart? Why did my neighbors report my house? My report says that they heard a young female crying for over an hour. What's the matter, sweetheart? My mom, she went on vacation with my little sister, but she's not answering. Okay, how about your dad? We're not really in contact with him anymore. Listen, you're not in trouble, but would it be okay if I take a look inside your house? That's our pantry. This is all baby food. Yeah, so all that stuff is for my baby sister. Alright, but what about your food? I gotta report this then. Wait, um, is my mom gonna get in trouble? Because if that's the case, I take back what I said. She did leave me, like, a little bit of money for food. Relax, everything's gonna be okay. Officer, I can assure you I am not neglecting my daughter. Do you think I could have a word with her alone? Go right ahead. You called the cops on me? I'm sorry, I didn't. The neighbors did because- Shh. Do you want to take care of your baby sister by yourself? Then tell the cop what I tell you to say. You're going to tell the cop exactly what I say. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Everything's fine. Sissy, you wanna play? Not right now, okay? <laughs> Mommy. Sissy's being mean to me. She is. <laughs> I wasn't. I was just telling her that I didn't want to play right now. Baby, go watch Coco Melon. I'm going to talk to Samantha. Honey? What? I got in contact with your father. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, Samantha, I did. And he has kindly offered to let you live with him. <laughs> no, Mom. I don't want to go live with him. He's expecting you. Come on, we have to go. No, I haven't talked to him in a long time. I'm not going. Fine. Samantha, dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. Well, that's not what you told the cop, now is it? You said I don't feed you, so here's your food. Is it good, Samantha? Good. Mom? Yeah? I, um, I don't really feel so good. Why is Sissy sleeping? Because we're going on a road trip. Mom, where are we going? Mommy, Sissy's talking to you. Sissy needs to rest, honey. Just ignore her and watch her show. <gasps> Coco Melon! Hello? We're here. Okay, there's your daughter. Go ahead and carry her inside. Karen, she's 17. I'll just wake her up. Come on, Samantha. Hey, wake up. Let's go inside. 
What the hell is wrong with her? Look, she wasn't gonna come, so I- Karen, are you kidding? Mommy, who's dad? He's no one, honey. Just watch your show. Actually, sweetheart, I'm your father, and you guys are coming with me. No, Daniel, we agreed you take Samantha and I keep Susie. Besides, you left us because you didn't want kids anymore. Well, now I'm changing my mind after seeing what you do to Samantha. No. Yes, I want my daughters back. You can have one. How about none? Because I called the police. You what? Patty cake, patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Girls, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me a second chance. Yeah, you know, ever since mom has been out of the picture, I've actually really appreciated the fact that I chose to have a baby sister. I love you, sissy. I love you too. Aw, group hug. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate. I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh, sh I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me. You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh. Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is a peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me. Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot. Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked. Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> All right, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates clothes changing. <gasps> Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Ugh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping Soulmate's this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing. Much better. How long am I going to have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say, I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me, and I don't care if you're a commoner. I... I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough! You're coming with us! Good morning. Mother, about last night. Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. 
Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I... Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's alright. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you.